Hey guys, here's another lesson on four chord songs. Uh, today we're going to be changing the formula very slightly. I say formula because this four chord song idea works in many different keys. We're looking at uh, currently at songs that are in the key of G, which means your order of your chords are G, D, E minor and C. However, what we do to tweak that slightly but still keep the order of the chords the same is we can start on a different chord and of course to us the order of the chords are still the same so in this example we're going to start from E minor which makes it sound very different E minor is the only minor chord in this chord sequence and if we write those chords down G D E minor C start from the E minor we end up with E minor C G and a D and it sounds very different leads us to be able to play a whole load of different songs that we couldn't play before but it's basically the same thing the order of the chords are the same and when you're midway through you'll be like hang on I can I can actually do this it's it's exactly the same stuff so uh, all these I'm going to show you quite a few songs uh, with this same chord sequence your first one is More to Life by Stacey Orico um, kind of a, a song from my youth a bit of a, a bit of a one hit wonder um, there's gotta be more to life than chasing out every temporary high to satisfy me Okay, uh, to be able to play that in the same key of the song we're going to stick a capo on the first fret is the best idea um, so this just means you can play along to the record with it if you don't have a capo it's not a problem you can still try and sing it to yourself and have a, a play of the song all the full chord sequence to all the songs that we're covering in this video are in the links below in the description on at my website andyguitar.co.uk and um, this is part of a whole beginners course that I've got set up there totally for free no subscription or anything all for free so do check out some of those other ones um, but this first one E minor for two beats so we tend to strum twice for that to start off with C for two beats, G, and of course D as your four chord song. So it's the same order, but we're starting on the minor, which makes it sound kind of sadder, but all the other major chords sound, make it sound cool. So from your E minor, two strums of each chord in one, two, three, E minor, one, two, C, G, and D. So much quicker changes on this one. Feels like you're changing chords all the time. But if you can do it, then we can play these songs. I'll slow it down a little bit for you if you're having trouble. From your E minor. Two, three, four. One, two, C, G, and a D. E minor, C, G. If you're still struggling, just once, one strum per chord is totally fine, just to start off with to get you changing chords. First one is your E minor, two, three, one strum, E minor, straight to your C, and G, then a D, E minor, one, two, three, four, G, and a D. Okay, and yet the idea is what, uh, possibly eight strumming will sound more appropriate to the record when the changes uh, are all good here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. D minor, C, G, D. There's gotta be more to life than chasing out every temporary high to satisfy me. Okay, perfect. Perfect radio friendly pop song example, which is kind of what these four chord songs are all about. They're all about having a hit, really. Um, perfect. Uh, your next song, Capo's second fret to be able to do this along to the record. Exactly the same from a guitar playing point of view. One, two, three, four, one, two, but this time. What if God was one of us? Exactly the same. 
just a slob like one of us. Okay, from the E minor, however you can play along to me, do it that way, whatever strumming pattern you got. Once every chord, once every beat, or eights, one and two and three and four. That one's the one, obviously more strumming tends to sound better, so if you can do the higher level strummings, go for it. From your E minor, in two, three, four. One, two, C, G, and a D. This is with your cap on second fret. Keep going. What if God was one of us? Just a slob like one of us. Two, three, four. Stranger on a bus. Trying to make his way home. End on the D. Perfect. There's um, other sections to that song that have slightly different chords, as I say, the full chord sequence is available in the description below, check it out, it's a really cool song. Um, your next one, um, one favourite from, of course the most famous kind of chord, four chord song is your Axis is Awesome um, version of, of lots of different songs and one that they do, Africa. We'll need your capo still at second fret. Three, four. Exactly the same kind of strumming pattern um, from your E minor. Gonna take a lot to drive me away from you. Okay, from your E minor in two, three, four. Gonna take a lot to drive me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. I get the reins down in Africa. on E minor. Again, another hit song with these same four chords that's in a key where you can actually play it along to the song as well, which is kind of what I'm trying to bring to the table here, trying to get you playing these al along to the record as much as you can. Um, the next one therefore, um, Capo 3rd Fret, um, a, a recent hit, uh, Hall of Fame by the script. Obviously very much a, a piano led song but that doesn't stop us from playing along and jamming along to the record with your acoustic guitar or your electric guitar. Same order of your chords. We're going to put a different push on uh, the, a couple of chords here. We're going to go to them slightly early but if we start off as normal, uh, I'll show you how it works. So standing in the hall of fame to Still with eight strumming, three and four and one and two and three and four, and the world's gonna know your name. Okay, the whole song here is this kind of four chord song idea because that piano riff gets looped for the whole song. To make it sound more like the song, uh, we're gonna go from the E minor to the C slightly early. So one and two and if you're using your eight strumming. This is kind of, it's a very strange thing to do if you're not used to doing it first of all. So I really advise you get E minor to C sorted before going for the rest of this riff. One and two ands. One and two ands. Give that a go. One and two ands. One and two ands. And then we fill in the rest of that bar with your C chord. One and two and three and four ands. Till right to the end of the bar and then do the same kind of loop from G to D. One and two and. The result is it will sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Kind of just makes it sound more interesting rhythmically. It goes to a chord a little earlier than you would expect. Makes it sound a little bit more exciting. Uh, from the E minor, let's give this a go, nice and slow. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and G and two and three and four. E minor, C, G and a D. E minor, one and two C, G to a D. E minor to C. 
Mm. Okay, so just jump into that chord slightly early. It's still the same order, still the same idea, but jump into it slightly early gives the impression of the song. It gives the feeling of that piano riff. Um, great stuff. Uh, finally, uh, we have uh, Holiday um, by Green Day again. A bit more of a, uh, a swing strumming pattern to this one. It's a much faster song. So one, two, three, four, one, two. And the chorus to this song is also the next batch of songs that I'm going to be filming for you guys. It's going to be these same chords, but in an, um, two, a whole bar of each. Sorry, I don't, I don't know what I was trying to explain there. Um, so your verse is the same two beats of each. Your chorus is going to be a whole bar of each. One, two, three, four. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so it's the same order of the chords, we're just tweaking this formula slightly and that's two again that happen in the same song. Really common, if you can get an understanding of, of this, just really simply be aware of it and possibly be able to hear it in a song, you're really well ahead of the game if you want to learn lots of pop songs. It makes songs a lot easier to learn and um, it's really fun to be able to, to listen to a song and go, hey I know what that's doing. Um, Perfect, so that's Holiday. Again, all the um, chord sequences for the full songs are available in the description below, so check those out if you want more. Um, I will also show you um, a really famous one that, that does this is If I Were a Boy um, by Beyonce. It's another one of these songs that is tuned down to starting on E flat rather than E, so you will have to detune your guitar if you would like to play that along to the record. So E flat, A flat, D flat etc. But if you just want to play this on your own and, and sing this to yourself and it's a really really cool song to start um, anyone who wants to play and sing at the same time perfect example of a song to go for. Two, three, four, so no capo. If I were a boy I think I would Okay, that's your, your idea of it, your gist of it. Let's have a, if you want to play along to me, because I know this is one you can't really play along to the record with, so, um, but it's a really cool song and I'd like you to be able to play it. From your E minor, in one, two, E minor, one, straight to C, G and a D. Okay, here we go for the chorus. If I were a boy, I think I would understand From the top How it feels to love a girl I swear I'd be a better man You might have to see she And listen to her Cause I know how it hurts E minor one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, E minor, C, G, and a D. Hold it there. Perfect. So again, that's another option we've got with these four chord songs that are still in exactly the same order and they're still just as, as simple to play as well because it's things you've, you're doing finger movements that you've done before in previous songs. And um, yes, yeah, so check out all the um, song chord sheets for any particular song that you really like uh, andyguitar.co.uk and I'll see you in another video with these four chord songs or another video in my free beginners course all in the links below